cleaning everything up and raising the vibration. Then we'll see what we can accomplish from that state. Like imagine you desire to become a great dancer. Well, first you need to take a dance lesson, you know? There's no thought of, do you deserve to be a great dancer? It's just, well, how much practice do you do? How much do you enjoy it? You know, okay, you got to stretch a little bit. It's work. It's fitting in. It's figuring out. But the goal is to become a great dancer. Well, we have given ourselves a goal to call in our finest connections, our best friends, our family, our tribe. So we take ourselves up to the best frequency so that we can make the best connections. It is important that we do the process of releasing the lower, baser instincts. Um, and it doesn't happen all at once, don't worry. Because like, if you're like, no, you know what? I kind of hate myself and I'm going to keep on hating myself. And then you just put out this call. Hello, I want to connect. You're going to be connecting with people who want to support you to hate yourself or people who hate themselves, right? And we don't want that. <laughs> you may also find that people you've been connecting with are going to feel your shift in resonance, your shift in frequency. And they will react. They may react by wanting you back the way you were because that's their comfort of connection. Or they may react by feeling excited and ready to grow with you. Or they may react by going, hmm, I don't know what's going on here. And they just kind of disappear. But then you might find later they'll show up again and say, you're the only one who gets me. You know, I realized since you left my life, I'm feeling a little shallow or a little like, but it's, uh, I, I think um, it's time for me to hang out more with you. And I'm kind of leaving our, some other friends sort of, you know, in no man's land for a little bit. Like you'll get a variety of reactions. So just be ready as your frequency goes up, people will respond. But their response is not really about you. It's about themselves and how they're feeling. The energy that you're now putting out doesn't feed what they need fed for how they wish to be. Or is it challenging them to raise their game? And do they want to do that? So just be aware. I can tell you from a personal experience, as I started releasing all this clutter within myself, I mean, oh my God, years and years ago, but it's nonstop. Like I'm still going, oh, self-esteem issues still? Come on. But now it's more of a, you know, of a, an acknowledgement that this is part of my lifelong karmic challenge as opposed to letting it overwhelm me. So it's a much healthier relationship. I still have self-esteem issues, but now I'm friends with them and we're working together to like see what can we accomplish in this crazy life challenge, which is a different way of seeing it. I'm not overwhelmed by them. They don't feel like I'm oppressing them. Now we're having fun together and exploring like, I don't know, just different ways of being. So when I first started this process, I had like a really good group of friends and we hung out together all the time. You know, we had, you know, we met every Monday night at a pub for dinner with our kids and like it was a large group of friends that I was in. And as my energy started becoming more like putting soul songs out there for my tribe, I was getting left out more and more from invitations with my group. I would see on social media, they were getting together and doing stuff. I'm like, oh, somehow they left me out of the invitation. 
And some of them got really mean to me and others were just like confused by me. And um, bit by bit, we just kind of separated out from I'd say 90% of the group. But there was 10% that we remained close but we were doing things more and more outside of the group. Like they were the ones who make sure I knew when we're all meeting somewhere, but for the most part, we would start doing other things. And then over time, certain members of the group started coming back to me and attending things at my wellness center or going on hikes with me. Like all the energies shifted. And I realized the ones who fell away were the ones that, it was a superficial friendship you know, a fun connection, but surface. And the ones that stayed, no matter what their purpose in life, we were able to connect on a level that fed my newer way of being. But meanwhile, like suddenly amazing people were coming into my life. Absolutely amazing. And it was like, you know, growing evolving um so okay i just kind of rattled on there i apologize but what i mean is people will react they will respond but it's always about them it's not about you you just keep on being yourself and growing yourself as you go through this process i promise you wonderful people start coming in. Now, the thing with manifestation is it is part energetic, soulful. It is part a little like self-therapy, but it is also part physical reaction, activity, action. You know, wonderful people may show up, but you still need to extend your hand and introduce yourself. You still need to accept invitations. You know, you still need to speak up with your voice, open your throat chakra and self-represent. Or you will be surrounded by all these great people, but you're forgetting to connect with them. So um, be aware, be aware, and be aware that as you are opening up and evolving, some of the people that will come immediately into your life, you're like, oh my God, I found my tribe. But then like a few months later, they're getting angry with you because they were your tribe for that moment, but you're still growing and evolving. Maybe they're not in a growth process. They're happy where they were. So understand you're going through a process and you're making wonderful connections, but allow the connection to be as it naturally is in the moment. Sometimes it's a little bit catch and release. And sometimes it's just like, wow, this is like, like, I feel like we've known each other forever, and I'm so glad that we are reunited in our eternal bond. Enjoy the process. Enjoy it. And understand nothing in there has to do with, do you deserve to have a friend? Or are you good enough? Or whatever. It's all about... <sighs> the more you release what you don't need, and the more you put yourself out open, the more you can find that will help you with your efforts to grow and evolve, including wonderful people coming through. 